Dear friends, welcome to the spoken tutorial on solving nonlinear equations using numerical methods. At the end of this tutorial, you will learn how to solve nonlinear equations using numerical methods. The methods we will be studying are bisection method and secant method. We will also develop scilab code to solve nonlinear equations. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu 12.04 as the operating system and Scilab 5.3.3 version. Before practicing this tutorial, a learner should have basic knowledge of Scilab and nonlinear equations. For Scilab, please refer to the Scilab tutorials available on the Spoken Tutorial website. For a given function f, we have to find the value of x for which f of x is equal to 0. This solution x is called root of equation or 0 of function f. This process is called root finding or 0 finding. We begin by studying bisection method. In bisection method, we calculate the initial bracket of the root. Then we iterate through the bracket and half its length. We repeat this process until we find the solution of the equation. Let us solve this function using bisection method. Given function f equal to 2 sin x minus e to the power of x divided by 4 minus 1 in the interval minus 5 and minus 3. Open bisection.sci on Scilab Editor. Let us look at the code for bisection method. We define the function bisection with input arguments a, b, f and toll. Here a is the lower limit of the interval, b is the upper limit of the interval, f is the function to be solved and toll is the tolerance level. We specify the maximum number of iterations to be equal to 100. We find the midpoint of the interval and iterate to the value calculated is within the specified tolerance range. Let us solve the problem using this code. Save and execute the file. Switch to Scilab console. Let us define the interval. Let a be equal to minus 5. Press enter. Let b be equal to minus 3. Press enter. Define the function using def function. We type def open parenthesis open single quote open square bracket y close square bracket equal to f of x close single quote comma open single quote y equal to 2 asterisk sine of x minus open parenthesis, open parenthesis, percentage e to the power of x, close parenthesis, divided by 4, close parenthesis, minus 1, close single quote, close parenthesis. To know more about def function, type help def. Press enter. Let toll be equal to 10 to the power of minus 5. Press enter. To solve the problem type bisection open parenthesis a comma b comma f comma toll close parenthesis press enter. The root of the function is shown on the console. Let us study secant method. In secant method the derivative is approximated by finite difference using two successive iteration values. Let us solve this example using secant method. The function is f equal to x square minus 6. The two starting guesses are p0 equal to 2 and p1 equal to 3. Before we solve the problem, let us look at the code for secant method. Open secant.sci on Scilab editor. We define the function secant with input arguments a, b and f. 
A is first starting guess for the root, B is second starting guess and F is the function to be solved. We find the difference between the value at the current point and the previous point. We apply secant method and find the value of the root. Finally, we end the function. Let me save and execute the code. Switch to Scilab console. Type CLC. Press enter. Let me define the initial guesses for this example. Type A equal to 2. Press enter. Then type B equal to 3. Press enter. We define the function using def function. Type def open parenthesis open single quote open square bracket y close square bracket equal to g of x close single quote comma open single quote y equal to open parenthesis x to the power of 2 close parenthesis minus 6 close single quote close parenthesis press enter we call the function by typing secant open parenthesis a comma b comma g close parenthesis press enter the value of the root is shown on the console let us summarize this tutorial in this tutorial we have learned to develop scilab code for different solving methods find the roots of nonlinear equations solve this problem on your own using the two methods we learned today. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. This is Ashwini Patil signing off. Thank you for joining.